From the perspective of a viewer who's watching this, and they may be newly diagnosed or a yeah. relative of somebody newly yeah. diagnosed, is there anything you want to say to them to give them some insight or encouragement? I, I think always talk to each other. That's a, you know, always tell each other how you're feeling because you know we all feel things in different ways. I have never felt. Uh, why was it me? That never has ever crossed my mind or anything else. I never really got angry that I had cancer. I was sad that I got it. And I was sad um, the effect it had on my family because it has had an impact and it will have an impact on your lives. I'll talk to anybody, it will have an impact on your lives and your people around you. Because I think sometimes people do view you slightly differently. Yeah. They, um, they can be either A, a little insensitive of what they might ask you, <laughs> Uh, as regards your treatment, it's like one lady asked me, oh, when will your hair fall out? Um, <laughs> which it never did with the treatment I was on. And I thought, well, if it did, it did. It wouldn't have mattered anyway, you know? Um, uh, and things like that. Or other people might be a bit wary of you as well. They don't know what to say to you as Definitely, well. Definitely, that's quite common. And I find that, that that was quite common. You know, people sort of look at you but not say anything. And you know, always make the first move, never be frightened to say it because it's only an, it's an illness that mm. that's what it is it's you're saying don't avoid uh, bringing up, up the idea that you know uh, of cancer the word no. if, if you if you feel comfortable if you feel but it's got to be you got to feel comfortable if you don't feel comfortable to anybody mm. it doesn't matter you mm. know you can be as private as you like or as public as you like mm. you know? I think that's good advice yeah, yeah. I'm um, if people would ask me about it I would tell them but I would never volunteer the information because it doesn't make you a different person. Yes. You're still yeah. you. You're still inside. you. Right, right inside of you, you are still you. A lot of people think see you as somebody a bit different because, you know, you know how are you doing today? How, you know, have you, have you done that? You, well, it doesn't matter, you know. You wouldn't have asked me that normally, you know. Did you find when you were really unwell that people often did treat you just like an un unwell person, not like the old you that you oh, wanted I've, to be? I think so. Like you know, I mean, I have to say a lot. Most children, I've found my children from outside. You're outside. I'm fine. No, you're not fine. Mum says, "Well, why are you asking then?" You know, <laughs> 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 you yeah. know, things like that. You know, you know, I'm not feeling that brilliant, but no, mm. but I'm, I'm, I'm here. You know. Yes. And the things I did find, and I imagine who's new diagnosed cancer will find it difficult. Maybe it would be the same for other people. This was um, family occasions mm -hmm. when we always to get together because we're having a large family and having six grandchildren, things like that, and birthdays, and Christmas, and things like that. I found that very difficult. I just look at them, and I think you always do when you're first diagnosed, oh, I'm gonna really enjoy this birthday because it's this last birthday I'm mm. gonna see you for, and, it's, and things like that. You, you know. felt that pressure of the at, at the beginning, I think at the very beginning, but after a while you just, I, I did find it difficult to go to things like that. Uh, I used to get quite emotional. Mm. But uh, after a while, yeah, they'll go on, you know, mm. and you just have to you just go and enjoy it, you know.